my colleagues in the Ministry of Electronics and IT and all the friends collected here and Professor Kamakoti. I'll make very quick uh, three points here. The first point is, we as a country have been a great service nation. Now we must become a product nation also. Service nation is a great uh, industry that must continue to grow, but simultaneously we must now also become a product nation. So whatever you are seeing here today is basically some of the steps in that journey. That journey would uh, involve software products as well as hardware products. Both categories and within hardware analog products and digital products. That's the thought process with which we are moving first. The second point is the old mindset where only the certain government institutions would be developing everything has to now give in to a new mindset where a much broader partnership of academia, startups, students, researchers, they all must join together to create new solutions. The solutions have to come from all aspects of our industry. All talented people must join hands together and bring the solutions. Third, step by step we must build the stack. Entire stack will take a few years, but step by step, every step, we must take that step to make sure that we reach that level. So these are the three points I wanted to make, and this is what is demonstrated in this entire exercise. When you see somebody getting award for a BLDC chip controller, I'm sure all of you know what BLDC is. Uh, that's a brushless DC motor. BLDCs today have become very important part of the entire electric vehicle, electrical uh, appliances, many small devices, many mid-sized devices. And that's a large volume, mid-value chip controller. If you look at the entire spectrum of the chips that we need to develop, there will be many chips which have small value but large volume. There will be some which have mid-value and a mid-volume and some will be having high value but very small volume and we have to play in the entire spectrum and that is the thought process with which we are moving. So the other challenge that you saw is about risk 5. Why did we move forward more on risk 5? We decided to move forward more on risk 5 because that's the real open source chip design platform which can be used for designing a CPU, can be used for designing a GPU, can be taken forward as a sustainable product coming out of our country. That's the thought process behind it. I congratulate all the winners and I once again request all the jury members and the organizers that this spirit of involving a very large number of startups, a large number of students in this new journey, that's very important. Some will lose, some will win, but what's important is that the participation today is of a much, much, much larger spectrum. And what's more important is this participation is today coming not just from the premier institutions, but also from a large number of uh, institutions coming from tier 2 and tier 3 cities. So congratulations and wish you many more successes. Thank you.